hello children welcome back so in my previous video i have explained you that what are the building blocks of the c++ language and uh, uh, what are constants what are variables so here is a small program which i have written and uh, we are going to see how we can uh, get the values uh, inputted uh, and then uh, the values are there in the output screen so here is a small program for it so the first line is but of course your hash include io uh, stream dot edge which is used to include your header files that is input output stream header file and then is your hash include conio dot edge which is used to include the header file which is your console header files where you will find your clr and uh, get ch uh, so this is very important to include and then both are very important to include and then you have your void main okay this is the very place from where your execution of program will start now after this is the curly braces that uh, that starts the beginning of your program and then is your clr scr semicolon okay as i've explained you this earlier also that clr scr is used to clear the screen so that whatever output is there or from the previous uh, program that has been cleared and now you will get the fresh output okay and then this is something new children this we have just studied now this we have seen in the previous video that what it is so as i have explained you in that video that int is used for your integer values okay this is the data type this is a kind of a data type which we used when we want a variable this is a variable this is a variable so when i want this variable to hold integer values okay means without decimal points so those numeric values that are without your floating points or decimal points so those are known as integer numbers so when i want a variable which is this to hold an integer value so for that the data type that is used in front of it is int i n t everything should be in small letters fine so now when i have declared this a as integer type so now it is just going to hold a integer value and what i have stored in this is 200 and 2009 sorry 2009 and then semicolon fine and when you want to initialize you put this equal to sign in between okay because i want this value which is 2009 to get stored in this variable a okay so i have used this equal to sign over here fine children now this c out is your output object to print the output on the screen and then is your cascading brackets are there fine and then inside double quotes i have written a statement this statement i want to be printed as it is on the output screen so here i have written my birth year is and that's all i have put inside the double quotes because i want this to be printed as it is fine so i have written my birth year is this and then i have used cascading brackets after that why i have used it because i want this year to be printed this is the year this is my birth year okay you can store yours so this year i want to get out to be printed in, on the output screen so for that i have stored in this variable a fine so to print this children we cannot use it over here i cannot write a over here no this will just print as it is as i have told you earlier also that whatever we write inside these double quotes will will be printed on the output screen as it is fine after if you want to print any value for say so for that you need to again put a cascading brackets it is very important without this you cannot print the value and once you have put the cascading bracket then you are going to use the variable in which you have stored that particular value and in this case i have stored this this is 2009 in the variable a so i have written a over here suppose if you would have used b then you could have used this variable b over here fine i hope this is very much clear i'll also show this program in the output screen also and then is your get ch 
which is used to hold the output screen and then is your curly braces which marks the end of your main program and this is how your simple program is there which uh, by which you can print your birth birth year on the output screen now quickly we'll go and see uh, i have this program already written so i am just going to compile it okay so this is the same program that i have written over here fine children same program you can see and now i'm going to compile it first alt plus f9 is a shortcut key so as you can see no error is there as such so now i'm going to run it to run the shortcut key is ctrl plus f9 control plus f9 or you can just directly go from the tab also so as you can see my birth year is 2019 fine i have written 2019 over here you can change it 2009 you can write and then you have to put semicolon and now let's see i have changed the value so again i'll just compile it and then success and then again i'm going to run it see my birth year is 2009 similarly you can use your birth year and you can print it on the screen so this is a very small program which you can uh, use to print any value on the screen as of now you can just try to put your birth year and try to get the same output thank you